Hello everyone. Welcome to your fourth and final Fan Requested Friday matchup of the week. Tom Platt's 1981 versus William Bonac 2020, Mr. Olympia of each, of course. Now, if I can, I am going to use Tom Platt's 1981, but a couple of the pitchers, at least one of the pitchers, if not two, are from different events. But anyway, guys, this is Saturday, of course. You guys are getting harder and harder to buy for for Christmas. I'm telling you right now, Nasser Elsenbody versus Ronnie Coleman, 1994. I had all the pitchers saved. It wasn't until I was setting it up that I kind of something said to my brain, Marks, you've seen this before. Is this deja vu or is this the same video? So I looked it up and of course I did that video. So I had to scrap it and it was a little bit too late last night to, to work on another one. So anyway, this was the next in line and this is an awesome matchup. Let's begin with a front single buy for Tom Platts. I use this one out of respect for Tom. The only front double bicep that you can get, which was prior to his torn right bicep. He tore his bicep, guys. He ruined his pose. I mean, the guy was one of the greatest of all time. So it, it ruined, his, uh, ruined his pose, much like Dorian Yates. But here in the single arm, he looks great. But even in this one, I think you could tell that even with two good arms, Tom Platts, I don't know if he would have what it takes to match the V-taper, things of that nature, of a William Bonac. William Bonac, underrated in the biceps as well. Go to the front lat spread. This is not a 1981 Tom Platts. Look how handsome he is with his hair, just all slick back. Bonac, of course, much like myself, eh, just tie it back and let it grow, whatever, right? It's easier that way, but Tom Platts, you know... Always took good care of that hairdo of his. Lots of gel, I'm sure. Hairspray, things of that nature. The angle of the shot is giving Tom an edge. To tell you the truth, it is the angle. Look at the arms. Even in the arms, you could see Bonax much more uh, detail, much more muscle separation. You know, he's probably in better condition. Go to the side, side chest development. And here's where Tom Platts kind of shows his true colors. Not the best in the front double by. Not the best in the front lat, actually a little underrated, not bad in the front lat. But here in the side, look at the beef that he stands on, that he sits on, his legs. Tom Platts, and look, I can see glutes. He had glutes, guys, they didn't flex them, but he was a solid block of muscle. He's probably winning in this pose, I actually appreciate him much more. Go to the side tricep, and Tom Platts, he has the ability to match these nowadays guys. Even with the little tiny piece of the glutes that you can see, Tom is, you know, he's ripped to shreds. And those wheels, those legs of Tom Platt's just hang. They hang. Upper body wise, Bonac probably is wider. He is a bigger, thicker guy, I think, in the upper body. Look at the striations in Tom's tricep itself. Who am I to give Tom a loss in this one? I should darn right, darn right uh, give him a win in both of the side shots. Let us turn around. And this is debatable, guys. This is debatable. Tom did have glutes. From the only couple of shots that you can see, he did. And the legs, of course they're going to be as big. Maybe even bigger than Bonax. But the way they are displayed, this is the way Dorian Yates held his legs. And they did that on purpose. They didn't want... Too much attention drawn to them. They wanted the, the back to come up like an umbrella. And Tom, he does lack a little bit of width in the back development. But look at the traps on the guy. They're close, I think, in the back. Bonac, of course, is winning. And then, of course, if you look at the glutes, what are you going to do? Are you going to give it to Bonac? Because I almost guarantee you, Tom Platts, if he gave himself a wedgie, which would have been, you know, back in 1981, they would have kicked him right off the stage. But anyway, a little unfair. A little unfair. Go to the rear double by. And unbelievable. Now, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Little glimpse of Tom's bum bum there. You can see the striations in those glutes. And this is an old, blurry old picture. I'm telling you right now, guys, Tom Platts is conditioning right there with the guys nowadays. He should have been the 1981 Mr. Olympia champion. Should have been for sure. Look at that back development. 
beating. It is defeating William Bonac. Bonac, for some reason, he he held his delt down a little too low, a la Chris Bumstead at the 2020 Olympia. And other versions of him, he was holding it much more symmetrical. But still, though, guys, Tom Platt's lower lat insertions, and you can see the glutes. Not to mention, I didn't mention this in the rear lat, Look at the calves. Tom Platts, he has some of the best calves. Total lag development. Never mind calves, total lag development in bodybuilding history. The best. Some of the best. Finish this one off. You know what? Like I said, Tom Platts has that X factor. He has the striations in the glutes. He has the feathering in the quads. The thick build. You know, he can match with today's competitors. Look just at the... The little piece that you can see of the rear end. <laughs> Look at that. It's a big hunk of striated, striated, striated muscle coming out of the glute of Tom Platts. But then you look at everywhere else, guys. The abs, best in bodybuilding history. The quads, best in bodybuilding history. This guy's unbelievable, and he's destroying. And I mean destroying William Bonac. Finish this one off, and I gotta say, this one surprised me. I am almost glad that I... Had to redo my Fan Request Friday matchup because this one turned out to be an outstanding matchup. Tom Platts fought with William Bonac tooth and nail. And William Bonac, you know, he's a top three, four, five at the Olympia. You get rid of the, the garbage, you know. Not to call Phil Heath garbage, but he's a has-been. Doesn't need to be up there on stage. He's only ruining his lineage. Should let guys like William Bonac, Hattie Shupin... Let them guys fight it out for a top spot. With all due respect to the to the gift, Phil Heath. You know, some things I say are, they do sound mean, but hey, it, life is uh, not so nice all the time, like right now. Tom Platts. Poor William Bonac. He lost this one, guys. And I'm being fair. I'm being as fair as I can. You look at some of them back shots, or the two back shots, if, 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 if. No, they didn't hold their lags that way. No, they didn't flex their glutes. But from what you can see, you can make an educated decision. And you can say almost 100% for sure. Tom Platts could have wore a, a G-string, held his glutes back there, been as big, and strided. And oh, if he had to flip those quads back, night, 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 night. It's all she wrote, just like this matchup. Anyway, guys, this was your, I think it was your second request. There wasn't, actually, no, there was another one for Ulysses. I cannot do Ulysses comparisons, guys. There's only one video footage, and I will get copyright strikes if I use video footage of certain uh, events, things of that nature. And that's why I don't use video footage. Not all of them, not all of them, but some of them you can get copyright strikes. And we don't need that. Have a great day, guys.